Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Continuing with the topic on inclines, we see a, a sum that we have here. A crate of mass, 100 kilograms, is sliding down the slope that is at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. A frictional force of 90 newtons acts on the slope. The question is, calculate the net force acting on the incline. Now, we did the basics relating to inclines in a previous question, so I'm not going to go into the basics. If you want to, you can look at those uh, video clips. Basically, we see that we have a frictional force of 90 newtons, and we know that if we take our weight of 100 kilograms going down, then we can break up the weight into our parallel and perpendicular component, which is Wx and Wy. And we know that Wx is always equal to W sine theta, and Wy is equal to W cos theta. Now, because the object is going down the slope and F is normal, and Wy uh, are perpendicular to the slope, we won't uh, need them in the sum. But to calculate the net force, we basically have to look at what is our weight first. So W is equal to mg, and if you worked it out, we said our mass is 100 times gravity is 9,8, and that will, that will give us 980 newtons. So if you look our, at our F net, our net force in this case, it will be equal to our W uh, sine theta, which is pulling the object downwards, uh, plus our frictional force, which is acting, or those are the two forces that are acting on the incline. Now, our W sine theta will be equal to 980 times the sine of 30 degrees, plus our F of friction will be in the opposite direction of the motion, so it becomes negative, and it will be 90 newtons in the opposite direction. And if you work on 980 times sine 30 degrees, we get 490 newtons minus the 90, which is acting in the opposite direction. And we see that 490 minus 90 will give us 400 newtons as our net force acting on the incline. So the net force acting on the incline will be, there will be a force of 400 newtons pulling the block downwards parallel to the slope. Now taking it further, the next question, this was question one. Now the next question is calculate the acceleration. Now if you have to calculate the acceleration, in number two, we see that we know that F net is equal to MA according to Newton's second law. So our acceleration is equals to F net over M. And our net force, we've worked it out here, it will be W sine theta minus F of friction, which gives us 490 minus 90, which is 400. All of our, our mass and our mass is 100 kilograms, which is given. And 400 over, divided by 100 will give us 4 meters per second squared. So that will be our second answer. And if you take our third sum, number three, and it says calculate the net work of the object if it slides 10 meters down the slope, then we say work net is equals to F net delta X cos theta. And F net we worked out is 400 newtons. And the delta X, the distance that it moves is 10 meters and 400 times 10 will give us 4,000 newtons. Make it 4,000 joules. And therefore we know that our work is measured in joules and not newtons. So the answer is 4,000 joules, not 4,000 newtons. Thank you very much for watching.